Now the first thing we have to do on our blank screen here is create a circle or as they want to call them an ellipse. Now let's make this white to start with. Bring it out there. It's a kind of a grey shape but that's all right. Now let's just make sure that that is centered. It's 1604 by 1530. So let's make that 1.6 by 1.6. There we go, a perfect ellipse. Now we'll put the little lock in the middle, so any alteration means that will be the right size. There's our ellipse. Now that we've got our shape, our ellipse, we want to add a background. Now to save a bit of time, I've already dragged the background in and placed it there. And there's our background. Now we'll see the effect of this later, um, just down the track a little bit. We'll set the shape's colour to white. Just make sure that's white in case you set it to anything else. And then give it a diffuse outer shadow. So we'll do that with FX. Outer shadow, and we want to set the opacity to 33 and the radius to 2 and the color to black. We've got to turn back on our layer. In the layers panel, duplicate your background and then drag it into the shape. Now we've got to duplicate that. Duplicate. There's our duplicate. We want to drag that into the background. And there we go, you can see it there in the background. And with the duplicated background still selected, we now add a Gaussian blur. There we go, Gaussian blur. Now we want that Gaussian blur fairly high. You can see that that's, there we go. Let's make it a nice round number of 30. Depending on the image that you're putting your piece of glass over, and you can see already that it's starting to look like a glassy shape over the top of your image. Now select your shape and enable lock children. It allows us to make to make the background stay fixed when moving the shape around. Now let me repeat that. Select your shape, which is the ellipse, and enable lock children, which is up here. Not in that one, sorry. There we go. You've got to have the move tool on, and I keep forgetting that. Now we use that one. You can see the little up arrow there I've pointed. Now there's lock children. Lock children is on. Off, on. Now we'll just go back to there. Lock children is on. Now you can add a subtle white inner border with a bit of transparency. Let's go to there, in a shadow. Well, it's difficult to set a white in a border, but we can create an inner shadow. Slightly black. Opacity 50%. Let's make that 70%. Now, we don't want the angle, we want the radius. You can see in the circle, the radius, we've just got 28 is probably too much. Let's make it 25. There's a nice thin white border there. That's just what we want. Now we're getting to the finish. So we go back to 
the Move tool, and you can see it there. Now let's see what happens here when we move this. Go back to there, close those layers down. Now we can move that around, and you can see that that's now like a piece of glass, and you can see through it and just faintly see the image behind it as it moves around. Now that's very nice. Let me show you that again. Very nice. Go ahead. Make my day. Subscribe.